you need a Leica? Oh my God. Uh, well, we all need one, but can we, but do we want to pay for it? <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Bangkok. Today, I'm joined here by Max. Hey, hey Max. Hi, Max Sturgeon. I'm a filmmaker and photographer. So uh, the funny part is I bumped into Max yesterday in this dark alleyway in Bangkok, which is pretty crazy. I think, ah, no fucking. <laughs> Uh, we used to shoot here a few years ago and we shot in Indie Istanbul together and just by accident he recognized me like, what the hell, that's so <laughs> weird. So today we're out here because he also has a book on uh, iShot. Yes. On iShot. Shot, yep. And yeah, you're shooting a lot mm -hmm. around the world so I think it might be interesting and he's shooting Flash. So he's one of the few people that is shooting, you're shooting primarily Flash, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. So we will talk about that and we will just walk around here in Bangkok, take photos and Maybe we can talk a bit about your book, okay? Which is pretty good. Uh, in case you haven't seen it, we will I will put the link in the in the description so you can check it out. Also, follow him on Instagram. You'll see it somewhere here popping up. And yeah, I would say without further ado, let's do this, huh? Okay, yeah, let's do it. First time I met Max was a few years back in Istanbul in a restaurant where he noticed my M6. We had a chat, and it turned out that he's also a street photographer. <laughs> Somebody come. <laughs> so Max, why Flash? I started shooting Flash uh, about four years ago. I said I would never do it. <laughs> why? Because, because I couldn't imagine going up to someone and, and yeah. flashing them. Punch them in the face? Uh, yeah, exactly. So I, I was always hesitant to do it, but then I traveled with some other photographers who were doing it and I saw that people's reactions were, I mean, if you see what I'm shooting, yeah, yeah. not problems at all. I mean, so, and it just became, be, being able to see others do it and how easy it was, I decided to just start dabbling in it and doing it slowly and, and started really enjoying it. And then, yeah. of course, enjoy the results, the effect you get from it. <laughs> and people are so nice. I know, they are super friendly. It's a great place to shoot. Yes. You told us why you use Flash, uh, mm. because first you were opposed to it, doing it. But now, I mean, why are the, the are there any other reasons, like aesthetically? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, once I started shooting more and more, yeah. when Let's I shoot bored. without it, I will get bored a little bit with it. It's, it can be very limiting to me now, yeah. shooting without it, because I can control my light yes. however I want and shoot in any, any lighting situation where yes. I wouldn't be able to shoot without it. Of course, there are some limitations to shooting with flash as well, like reflections, getting yes. shooting a light into glass. Um, also, like the shutter speed. Yeah, yeah, the shutter speed on different cameras have different, you know, problems. You with have that. to get the cue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. on the list. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I just love the effect it gets, and yeah. with especially into the day, like yes. sunset and after sunset, when you get that, still have the light in the sky and you underexpose, that to me is the prime time. Yeah. We were walking around in a neighborhood where they paint Buddha sculptures. It's not busy, but can still be very interesting. You know what I like about shooting flash? Something like that. I mean, yeah, uh, it's not easy to expose, especially against the background, mm -hmm. but with a flash, no problem. And you can bring out the colors even more. Absolutely, like the gold would yes. be great. Yeah. Yes. Gold, red, yeah. the colors like that are really going to show up. And do you, do you sometimes use gels? You know, I haven't, but... Yeah. It, it, I experimented with a little bit, but I've seen other photographers who use yeah, them yeah. to a really interesting effect. I like to, do, to, uh, to use them at night. Yeah. And maybe I put a, a, an orange gel in there and everything else falls into more blue. And it has a very interesting, uh, almost like a cinematic look to it. Yeah, it's something I'll probably try yeah. more. Yeah, I haven't done it yet, but I'd like to experiment with it. Today's video is sponsored by my store. Currently, for a limited amount of time, there's a 20% discount running on all of my street photography zines shot on film and also on my color profiles for Lightroom that make it super easy and fast to edit raw files from any digital camera. The link to my store is in the video description. We went to a factory nearby that Max had yeah. visited before. I went here yesterday and they didn't mind me shooting at all, so cool. hopefully they're still... Then let's go. Yeah. Some places in the alley, they say no, they'll have no photos spray painted on the walls, okay. but nobody said anything to me. I think we came here before a few years ago. Yeah, 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 I, think yeah. I remember the place. It's, it's pretty awesome. Like the, yeah. the gold in here, 
Just imagine we'll be real. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a great spot. Some people. I think they actually, I've seen them pack them up in the trucks and ship them off here. So really? I think they deliver them from okay. here around. So you're mostly shooting off camera flash, right? Yeah, mostly. I, I do both. Yeah, yeah. Um, I prefer off camera. Sometimes I get lazy and it's just easier to yeah. put it on. You know, but, but what happens to me sometimes, I point it in the wrong direction. Yeah. Has, that ha has it happened to you? It, it's more, doing it off camera, it's more to think about. Yeah. Because not only you have to line up the shot, but you also have to think about yes. what you're doing with the flash. So it is something else to think about, yeah. I've definitely done that. <laughs> yeah. So in uh, your book is mainly uh, from India, photos from India. India and Bangladesh, yeah. India and Bangladesh, and, yeah. uh, but primarily, oh no, not just entirely flash, right? Uh, not entirely, because when I started the project, it's before okay. I started shooting flash, actually. Ah, okay. Um, but most of it's flash. Okay. And that is one challenge. If you're shooting both, you have to, to mix them together. It's a yes. little bit different look. So okay. that is a little challenging. So you, you started this with a book in mind or just uh, No, no, actually I didn't. I guess I wouldn't say I started with a book in mind, but uh, th when I started traveling to India, yeah, yeah. the first time, I, first couple times I didn't shoot flash. So okay. I had all these photos that I liked yeah. that were without flash. And then when I came back, I was okay. shooting flash. So now it's pretty much all flesh only. Yeah, unless... Do you feel naked without the flesh? I do, <laughs> yeah. I shot a festival parade once, I didn't have my flash, and it, it drove me crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, although I think I got good photos, you just have to shoot in a different way, you have to change your mindset. It's a different aesthetic. aesthetic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And there are certain situations that call for not shooting with a flash, I say. So there's occasions okay. that I don't shoot. For instance, what, what um, you... Maybe something to do with the light. Uh, okay. The light's just, you have that really nice light Gold without light. flash. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so some, or maybe the event just calls for it. Um, and also, maybe you're in a place where you don't feel comfortable enough to, to shoot it, like somewhere like in Ukraine, for instance, okay. where it's hard to photograph anybody without flash. Before the war. Before, Before the war, war yeah. 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 Um, you know, you're tentative to shoot people even without a flash there, yeah. let alone with a flash. So it's just places like this. Yeah. Or, so, or in Africa, some places in Africa. Really? Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting because when I was shooting in Russia with a flash, it's mm. no problem at all. Yeah. yeah. No problem. And, and, and in Ukraine, I can, I have some. It okay. is the, you have to fill out the environment and just, you have to feel comfortable yourself. Yes, yes. Um, and again, it's not necessarily because of the flash, it's yeah. photography in general. Like yeah. it's the same with Africa. Some places, they just don't want to be photographed. And if you're using a flash, it's going to be much more obvious what you're doing and draw more attention to yourself. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah exactly. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, for instance, like here, you wouldn't need a flash just because the light's so nice, but. So you're shooting, uh, I think when we first met, you were shooting the X-T2 completely mm -hmm. beaten up. Yes. The, the screen, and you yeah. shot this for a long time. Yeah, until the camera didn't, you know, it's pretty too beat up to use. And so I just upgraded to the T3 <laughs> okay, at that yeah. point. So yeah, I, I do like these cameras but a you lot. you already have this since years, a couple years. Yeah, a couple years, uh, <laughs> maybe like three or four years even. Okay. Uh, yeah, um, but obviously I like this line of cameras. If I yeah. keep, you know, I keep sticking with that, I think it's great for street photos or small. Um, I use the 28 mil, it's the 18 mil, 18, 20, yes, yeah, 28 yeah. equivalent. Um, I like it because of size, it's a pancake lens, but also 28 is a perfect focal length for me as I like to get close to subjects with the flash. So it's a perfect for me. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like, it's not too wide, you know, it's the, yeah. if you if you have somebody in the, in the corner, they're mm -hmm. not too distorted, yes. Yeah, to me 28 is perfect for, yeah. for what I do. To me it fits very natural, 28. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, a lot of people prefer 35, but for yeah. me it's just a little too tight. Yeah. Uh, especially, as, I feel like if you're comfortable getting close to people, yes. 28 is oh, perfect. If, 35, if you need a little space, you're not so comfortable getting right up to yeah. people. 35 maybe is better. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. So you also shoot film once in a while? Yeah. So which, do you have a go-to film camera that is? Right now I'm mostly shooting, I'm trying to shoot formats that are different than okay. the 35 mil. So I'm shooting medium format, mostly with a Holga, to be honest, and okay. with a flash okay. actually. Okay. Which Does that leave shutter, right? It's a leave shutter. Uh, yeah. But no, it has only one shutter speed? Or? Yeah, no, sorry, one shutter speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, um, yeah. So, but which is why flash, for me, flash is good for the yeah. Hoga because you can't adjust hardly anything. Yeah, yeah. So you can adjust the light. Um, so I'm using Hoga a lot and I'm also using panoramic. I like the panoramic formats. Yeah. So I have an X-Pan as well as, uh, I use this Russian uh, rotating lens camera called a uh, Horizon Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's really nice. Uh, I mean, it, 
wouldn't say it's nice. It's a hundred dollar plastic camera, but uh, it, it breaks. It breaks quite easy. But you can get it. And it's hard to use, but if you use it right, it can get some very interesting images. Yeah. All right. So we will now have uh, lunch here, and then we probably find some other place. Uh, it's midday right now, so it's not the perfect time to shoot. But maybe mm -hmm. later on, uh, it will get a little bit better. It's still hot, you know. Yes. <laughs> but the light, at least the light, will be better. So I'll see you later. So when you when you look like for a subject or scene, so is there anything specific you're looking for? Or? No, not, I mean it's always different. It depends where you're at. I would say. Okay. Sometimes I I go somewhere, or if I return somewhere, I'll have certain areas in mind, and I'll yeah. look for something to develop in a certain setting, or maybe I will have a photo in mind uh, to try and. And sometimes you have to wait. You'll be in a certain setting, yeah. and. It, you know something good could happen, and you just wait for that. That is hopefully something to develop. Okay. So a lot of times I'll do that, and maybe you don't know what it is, but you're just waiting for there something interesting to come up in this in a certain setting. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh, what's that? Oh. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. You know, be you know, beavers and butthead. Yeah. Cornhole yule. Yeah. Right. All right. Right. I forgot about that. With the shirt pulled over? Yes. Yeah. I am Cornholio, I need Tippy for my bunghole. Me, <laughs> for I am the great Cornholio, I need Tippy for my bunghole. You got him? Yeah, maybe, I don't know if it's good or not, maybe it's interesting, we'll see. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to tell on the... Uh, yes. And sometimes you think, oh, it's really good, then yeah. you look at it on your, on your bigger screen, it's like, ah, oh, it's yeah, not, yeah, you have it's to, okay, not that great. Exactly. I did that some yesterday even, you know, you think you got something good and it looks really good in the small screen yeah, and then you yeah, see yeah, it, yeah. Eh, maybe not. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you only you, you or primarily use the viewfinder or is it because of the harsh light right now? Um, I, well, you know, I always use a viewfinder to review Yeah. so you can see them properly. But when I'm shooting, a lot of times, especially because especially I'm shooting flash, yeah. I, I'm just doing a rough framing. Okay. And um, sometimes I'll use a viewfinder to line up, but with flash sometimes I, I just line it up yeah. and just know the general frame yeah and i'm looking with my eyes and me personally what i like to do is a lot of times make eye contact with the subject so okay. they're not looking at the camera but ah, they look at you yeah, yeah that's yeah. a lot of times yeah. when i snap the photo yeah yeah uh, to me that's a really good moment yes. of connection yes so we're now uh, in the mega plaza mall because i had a, a lens repaired here um the Aperture blades, they were a little bit oily, and also the, sometimes the aperture got stuck, so I'm going to pick that up now. And the price was 800 baht, which is maybe uh, 20, 25 euros, so it's pretty good. Let's see if he got it fixed. Spoiler alert, yes, he fixed the lens and it's working again like a charm. So today there's a, they have a special camera market going on here, and it's here, so it's for two days. We got lucky, <laughs> or maybe not lucky, let's see. Oh, I see a photo too. Okay. I see a good photo. <laughs> so I'm trying to shoot with a dinosaur behind you. It's okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, there's lots of cameras. Oh, look. Do you need a Leica? Oh my god. I, I oh, we we all need one, but can we... But do we want to pay for it? <laughs> Unique images. Oh, you wanted a Leica Q. Here you go. Is it a special edition or something? Uh, it's a different color, right? It might be. It's just, maybe it's just uh, the leather. But this is the original one. It's okay. not the Q2. Oh, it's the original cue, yeah, okay. Yeah. Like you, 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 like you have. Yeah, you can see because here it says continuous and single shot. Uh -huh. That's and that they improved it on the Q2. Because you often you put it into continuous without noticing. Uh, ah, yeah. And then after one second, like buffer full. <laughs> yeah. Even like cheap color film has like gotten so ridiculous now. I feel like it's not cheap anymore. Yeah, it's just crazy. I remember when there is no the, cheap color film. The C200 anymore. for two or three euros. Uh, it's now like eight or nine. Yeah, yeah. And Poland used to be able to get like the cheap ones for like a yeah. couple couple euros. Yeah, and that's the same. It's like yeah. it's like eight euros probably now. Compact cameras here. Okay, enough cameras now. I think <laughs> it's time to go get back to the market maybe and shoot. Yeah, what do you think? Enough. Yeah, enough here. Yeah. Uh, let's find yeah. the elevator and let's get out of here.
we walked over to the market in Chinatown, which is in walking distance from Mega Plaza. You got it? Hit, hit it. I don't know. Hit an interesting mask. Yeah, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh. Is there weird looking? So can you be very selective about taking yeah. this? There's not much. And everybody in masks too, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Hey, it blends yeah. in with the background. And the dress too is nice. Yeah, that's perfect. It's that's really nice. Good. There was this lady that was sitting in front of these fake blossoms, <laughs> and she also had a fake one in her hair. The difficulty was to get the timing right. I got out my phone and I guess I got lucky. <laughs> oh, this was good. Perfect angle. <laughs> we stopped shooting and went to a kite festival later on that day, but I wasn't filming there. I'll share some of the shots that Max got after the outro. And don't forget the 20% discount that you can get in my shop right now. The link is in the video description. All right, guys, uh, I think that's it. Let's call it a day here. What do you think? Yeah, it's we need to take a break now and uh, we will shoot later on, but we're not filming this, so we'll just go out somewhere to some place and shoot. Um, I will put the link to your book or what, do, what is the best? Yeah, that's just uh, is a direct link. Yeah, or you can go to maxsturgeon.com okay. and it's linked from there as well. Okay, but, yeah. perfect. I will put the link in the video description. So cool. definitely check it out and follow Max on, on Instagram as well. Cool. And yeah, it was fun hanging out. Yeah, here. Oh, as always. As always. Sweaty as always, but uh, <laughs> here in Bangkok, it's always hot. I mean, you can come here any time of the year. It's always hot. So yeah. be prepared if you have never been here, but it's fun. I mean, as, as you just saw, it was very busy already, but yesterday was more, way more than... Yeah. And even at, ni at night too. Because yeah, at night, course, yes. But... Yeah. All right, guys, as always, if you like this video, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and we will see each other very soon in the next one. Until then, okay, auf Wiedersehen. <laughs>